How is it going guys? Thanks a lot for joining me for another beer review. Looking at another beer today sent to me by my buddy Ben. Thanks a lot man, you are a saint. Today's beer is from Blood Brothers Brewing out in uh, Toronto, Ontario. This is their Barrel Aged Farmhouse Ale, Abattoir. Really, really cool artwork to this beer. Really dig that. It's a Chardonnay barrel aged farmhouse saison uh, blended with fresh ale and heavily dry hopped with uh, Eldorado hops. It's coming in at 8.5% alcohol by volume. I absolutely adore uh, wine barrel aged beers and I love uh, Eldorado hops so this sounds like a beer that I'll really dig. So without further ado let's get this one uh, unwaxed, popped, poured and see how it is. All right, we've got Abattoir poured, and it pours three fingers of a huge, fluffy, frothy, slightly off-white head, almost like eggshell-colored head. Um, really beautiful-looking head to this beer. Tons of carbonation streaming up a infinitely opaque, beautiful, bright yellow, almost like egg yolk kind of color uh, to the beer. Super hazy, almost looks like a New England-style IPA, something like that. Wicked hazy beer. Um, that looks absolutely delicious. Let's get an aroma. Definitely getting that Chardonnay barrel right away. Big, dry, almost Britannomyces kind of characters. A big woodiness. There's definitely a... I want to say grapefruit, uh, orange peel kind of thing going on, some grapefruit juice. A nice, uh, slightly herbaceous uh, green onion kind of uh, hoppiness to the beer. And some really nice like tropical fruit in the background too. That is a really nice smelling beer. Can't wait to try it out. Let's do that. Cheers. Ooh. Wow. Right away is big woody, uh, dry, barrel kind of characters, very tannic, very uh, floral, yeah, like a really floral, almost a perfumey kind of bitterness throughout the beer. Tinge of that alcohol, tinge of that 8.5% uh, across the tongue. A nice amount of a uh, citrus peel as well, citrus zest. Um, I'm almost getting like a lime zest kind of thing going on, really cool. The Eldorado hops lend the beer a really nice juicy, citrusy, fruity kind of character. Mouthfeel wise, spritzy, light, but there's still this creaminess, this slight bready, chewy kind of feel to the beer. Um, really, really nice mouthfeel. Um, definitely dry. Super, super dry. I don't know if there's Britannomyces in this beer, but it's got that funky barden yard kind of thing, uh, that almost chewing on oak kind of thing going on, that tannic, bitter kind of quality. Um, really, really good stuff. Um, one of the better... Uh, farmhouse ales, saisons, Belgian style beers I've had in a while. Uh, Abattoir, uh, barrel aged farmhouse ale. Only disappointment in this beer is I wish the Chardonnay barrel was a little bit bigger, you know. I mean the oakiness is there, the tannic qualities, but I wish the Chardonnay itself was in the beer. I mean you do get a little bit of like a dry grape skin kind of thing, this uh, musty kind of character. But the white wine characters seem just a little bit uh, downplayed for what I would like in this beer. But as a rating on this beer, I'd go like straight up a B plus. Um, I want to go 85, 86. You know what? Let's go 87 on it. Really well crafted, beautiful beer. Love the artwork. That is awesome, awesome artwork. Uh, let me know what y'all think of Abattoir. Any of... Uh, Blood Brothers, other beers, any other beers I should check out from Toronto area. Um, I think we've actually got a couple Bellwood Spears uh, in Alberta right now that I should be reviewing. But um, yeah, I think uh, Jelly King, something like that. But uh, yeah, thanks for watching everybody. Please give me a like, comment, and subscribe. Have a good night and cheers.